Greetings friends, Jawless Paul here. In this video, we're talking about the cast boons. The cast boons in Hades. All right, so you have a regular cast that fires out a bloodstone. Uh, if you have Infernal Soul, that, that mirror upgrade, you can get up to three casts just stored. Uh, and then if you have Stygian Soul, you have one cast, but it regenerates every three seconds, and that can be modified with a Hermes boon that uh, increases the rate of regeneration. So, we're going to talk about each of the different uh, casts that the various gods in Hades offer, and we're going to rate them based on how powerful they are, how cool they are. We'll talk about whether or not they have any, any duo boon, uh, synergies or, or things that modify it um what are some of the good builds that are possible with each of the different casts and i'll just give you my general opinion i'm not going to get too deep into the weeds of numbers because that stuff all changes as the game uh, continues to be developed but as of today march 24th 2020 the supposed first day of spring this is the tier list for the cast boons in Hades. All right, so we're gonna start with Shattershot. Shattershot is a boon from Aphrodite. It is a very short range uh, shot called, or sorry, not Shattershot, Crush Shot. It used to be called Shattershot. Uh, and it does extra damage, so the base shot is 50. It, it bumps it up to 90 at common rarity. Okay, it's very, very short range. It inflicts weak for three seconds, which reduces enemy damage dealt by 30%. It doesn't reduce damage received by you, but rather it de decreases their damage. That probably matters in some mathematical way that I don't understand. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. What do I think of Crush Shot? Um, if you had asked me a week ago, or maybe two weeks ago, what I thought of Crush Shot, I would have told you that it's pretty much garbage. It's pretty terrible. Um, but recently, uh, a good a good pal, <laughs> a good pal Z Weevil recommended it, uh, a build with Crush Shot and um, the the ice explosion, the the frost frost burst or something or snow burst. Yeah, snow burst. And when those two are paired up, you become a a ball of of damage that just dashes around the screen so the idea is that you get close to enemies if you're close to them crush shot is a very wide attack right so it it has a if you're next to an enemy you've got like a i don't know what it would be like a 40 or 50 degree angle out from yourself and any enemies caught in that take the damage they can all take the damage too so there's an area of effect um, nature to it and then if you add on to that the the snow burst it's a very good amount of burst damage from multiple sources which is better than burst damage from a single source so why do i where would i rank this it has no it has no duo boons um yet hoping hoping that it gets some some duo boon love uh i would put this though i would i would put this right in the middle it's not it's not gonna completely break your run i mean that that combination is very very strong if i were to rate that combination by itself that'd be different but just as a as a cast itself the range is very very short i mean very short like like <laughs> painfully short so many times i would dash up to enemies and cast it and it just would <laughs> fizzle out right before it got to them uh so that's i, I put it in the in b we'll, we'll put it in b we'll leave it right there in the middle next next we've got the crystal laser, what's it called? <laughs> the crystal beam from Demeter. The crystal beam from Demeter, your cast drops a crystal that fires a beam straight ahead for five seconds, doing damage every 0.2 seconds. Um, so that is a total of 25 ticks, 0.2 seconds for five seconds, you end up with 25. The, the common rarity, it does eight damage every, tw uh, for, uh, Every 0.2 seconds, rare does nine, epic does 10, broke does 11. Obviously that's all modified with palms too, um, but it does it does that damage over time. Now, crystal beam, 
<laughs> Crystal Beam is a fairly new addition to the game. It came out uh, in the long winter patch, which was the last one before this one. So about four months ago, something like that. Um, it's got some problems. It's it's super, super cool. Like I, I'm, I'll just say that I think it's a uh, it's a very cool looking uh, cast for sure. It's got a lot of potential, I think. Um, it's it's got some cool shenanigans where you can just fill the screen with with lasers, and that's fun, right? Like that's cool. I've been to those electric light, you know, laser shows. Those are cool, right? No question. And so she's up there, you know, she goes to those Pink Floyd events, and she she loves it. Uh, that uh, Demeter does. But here's the problem: it's it it can be a decent amount of damage if if the enemy doesn't move or if the enemy if you set it down and the enemy is slowly walking towards you like sure it's going to take most of that damage and that'll be that'll be hunky dory that'll be great um but so many of the enemies are running from side to side they're jumping over you they're behind you all of a sudden and this thing it tracks but it's like so slow like the laser moves about this fast there is a duo boon with artemis that increases the speed of that uh, of that motion it actually makes it quite quite fast. Um, still not fast enough to stay with most enemies, um, unless they're very slow. But if an enemy can can move, can dash or, or whatever, it it cannot track with them, and it gets distracted too, right? So if enemy if it's about to kill an enemy and then it sees another one, oh, better better go track that one, and it's pretty annoying. And it doesn't do any area damage, zero, and it doesn't pierce. It doesn't like it, if there's two enemies right next to each other. It'll only hit one. Uh, so this is a this has some issues. I would love to see them make it so that this applies. Uh, if, if this applied chill, which a lot of Demeter's abilities do, um, I think it could be. I think it could be pretty cool because there's a there's another boon that that um, Demeter has that's that's pretty cool called arctic blast when you when you apply 10 stacks of chill cause a blast clearing the effect so if you could get if if each one of those applied a stack or maybe every other tick you know so every 0.4 seconds it applied a stack of chill on an enemy and then when it got to 10 it would burst well that would give you a little bit of area of effect and that would make it much more uh much more viable i think as it is though I, i'm gonna stick it down here I don't, I don't think it's completely worthless. It's particularly good against bosses, right? So, especially if you can get the duo boon, um, it'll track with bosses fairly well. And especially, like, the the Hydra, this this boon was made for the Hydra, right? The, the Hydra just sticks in one spot, and you just set down all your casts, and it just eats all that laser damage. Just eats it for breakfast. Um, it can be decent, but I built, making a, making a, a build centered around, um, Crystal Beam, I think, is is kind of folly. Um, it gets slightly better when you have the, the Duo Boon, um, Crystal Clarity. It also that also applies 20% uh, increased damage to it, so that that helps it. I mean, it helps it significantly. It's it's almost like you could you couldn't do a run b based around this by itself, but you could with with Crystal Clarity, sorta. The crystal Clarity doesn't quite do enough uh, to make it better. Um, in my opinion, if there were more, if there were more things that made um, made Crystal Beam better, like I'm thinking about another cast boon in particular that that <laughs> has lots of other boons that make that one better. I think it could be it could be decent. Um, it could be all right. But as it is, it's in the C category. Subpar uh, needs some love, I think. Um, still fun though. Laser shows. Who doesn't love them? All right. Next, we've got Zeus. Zeus transforms your cast into a bouncing uh, chain lightning uh, ball. <laughs> There's a more eloquent way to say that. But it turns it into a chain lightning. Bounces five times. And uh, this this one so it increases the damage too. Though not by a ton. Each of the... Each of the Strikes also doesn't do any area, um, but it can hit up to five enemies. So you, as you can imagine, this is okay. Uh, it's pretty good for uh, for groups um, of enemies. So like the Hydra fight when all the heads are coming out, that's maybe the only boss fight where this is is okay. <laughs> Otherwise, against bosses, this is pretty bad. Um, 
you're you're not getting much for your your um, cast. And then the other problem with it is that a lot of times when you when you're not focused on a cast build, uh, you want the stones to stick in enemies. And with this, it can kind of mess that up, right? You your stone the stone might not stick on the enemy, so you wouldn't get the bonuses from the mirror. Um, either the 25% less attack speed or movement speed and damage or the plus 50% attack and special damage that you can get from the stones uh, could be a little bit harder to apply to bosses. So all around, good for groups, bad for bosses. I suppose if you had a build where you had a lot of good damage that could be applied to bosses, then this cast could just be for groups. Like if you, I don't know, I'm trying to think like a, like a bow build maybe where you have tons of damage um, on the attack. I don't know, maybe explosive shot or, or I don't know, like something that <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, of a situation where you need this. This would be your answer to your area, uh, area damage problem. But I, I don't know. I, I rate this also down in C. It's fun to play with. It's got, I mean, lightning is lightning is cool. There's also only one modifier for this from uh, from Zeus's or two, I guess The you can get the extra bounces for um, for chain lightning I think up to nine bounces but here's the thing how often are you fighting nine enemies I mean okay I can see a situation where you're where you, so it can bounce between between the two same two enemies multiple times that's I should mention that that is a good that is synergistic right there um, and it can apply static discharge which is uh, Zeus's curse and that's a very good curse right it's just that's that's a good one right if like that by itself makes it better <laughs> but still i think it needs a little bit of love i almost never think like ooh i'm going to do <laughs> i'm going to do a chain lightning cast build with zeus's uh zeus's cast here so take that for what it is i think it needs a little love onward there's no dual boons with this oh i should mention too between infernal soul and stygian soul um basically the way i think about it is this with with infernal soul you if you have a, a cast that doesn't stick to enemies um it might be better to have infernal soul where you have three casts to start and you can pick them right back up but on any on any uh cast where the stones stick to an enemy it's usually better to have stygian soul and then try to get as many cast stones through chaos or artemis legendary uh, as you can um that's just that's a rough you know a rough guideline i wouldn't i wouldn't say you know that that's not going to make or break a run if you choose one over the other but in general if it sticks to the enemy you're gonna be and, and if your build is centered around it right so i've done many speaking of which i've done many poseidon cast uh builds like i've done it with uh hera bow a few times and and even without it i mean he's this is a really solid cast so poseidon's it turns your cast into a watery explosion that knocks back um and it's a very large watery explosion it's a very large water balloon that you're chucking at enemies it's a pink water balloon too from the looks of it i see these little bits of pink anyway um so the the problem with poseidon i love poseidon's cast by the way he's great for um groups of enemies because it does very good uh, large burst damage um, but against a boss if you're built around this you're in some trouble because this is gonna if you don't if you don't have stygian soul because if you if you have infernal soul you can throw off your cast three times it doesn't do enough damage to bosses to be super significant unless you can just keep you know using it which you can with stygian soul but infernal soul you have to wait for the cast stones to pop out which can be a real bummer and i suppose you could use poseidon's sword which is maybe why you know they have poseidon's sword and poseidon's cast it works well together um yeah it, there's there's some problems with it but overall i'd say this is a great one it's got an amazing duo boon an amazing duo boon all right uh this this is maybe one of the better uh better duo boons uh the the blizzard shot so basically no longer does the stone get stuck in an enemy the the cast is slowed down by a ton it slowly moves across the screen and it sends out these whirly whirls of of death <laughs> and damage and it's great it does it does large area damage it knocks back enemies so if you've got the uh if you got the poseidon curse the uh, razor shoals um you've got that going hopefully you're, you're, you would want that with with this uh with this build with the blizzard shot build 
Um, I like it a lot. I think it's very, very strong. Um, I don't think it's the strongest of the of the casts by any means, but I'll put it up here. It's very, very solid. Um, it's a very solid one. A, a tier for sure. Next, Athena's. Athena's cast um, turns turns the stone into a slow moving. Okay, so it's slow moving at first, and then it speeds up gradually as it gets you know across the across the the room or whatever. And then it has a, a small explosion, so not quite as big as well, not even not even close to as big as Poseidon's. Um, so it does a little explosion in an area. So it, it does have some area damage. Uh, it's it does decent damage and it deflects the whole way. This one also has a duo boon uh, upgrade, so you can get lightning phalanx, which is a Zeus Athena duo, and that makes the phalanx shot bounce between enemies. And so you can imagine that's a lot of area damage. Um, in the same way that that uh, thunder, you know, th chain lightning shot or whatever has problems, this also has problems against bosses, right? Because it, it bounces around and it, uh, it might not land in the right place. And if the boss is solitary, he's not going to take or she's not going to take that extra or it's not going to take that extra damage. Um, from the multiple bounces, so it's a single thing, and so if you have Stygian Soul and if you have good regeneration and maybe one or two or three uh, more cast stones at the start, or once you once you get through the game, it can be very powerful. But um, it does have some limitations, kind of the same limitations, I'd say, as as the as the Chain Lightning. But it's more damage. It's 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 better in every way from Chain Lightning. Um, but it does not apply. It does not apply jolted. It cannot apply jolted. But it can apply Athena's. Um, it can apply Athena's uh, curse. I'm gonna put this right here in the middle. I'm gonna put put this in in B tier. Uh, it's solid. It's it's decent damage. Um, if you need, if you if you're going through your going through your run and you haven't really thought about your cast and you see failing shot. And you've maybe got some Zeus boons. Hey, pick it up! That suddenly you've got a great clear spell um, to go through. I like in sticks, this this thing is amazing. And all those little rooms and sticks, you just fire off one or two if you've got lightning phalanx, and it clears the room most of the time. That's uh, very very good damage. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's right here. The nice thing about the bounce, uh, because the reason why the bouncing is so much better is because it does little. The little explosion happens for each bounce. So. If multiple enemies are sitting right next to each other, it just just, <laughs> just destroys them in that little area because each of the bounces is doing the area damage. You, can, you know what I'm talking about. It's good. It's good. So uh, once again, decent. And then when you get Lightning Phalanx, it's a great room clear. It's a great room clear ability. Okay. Next, we have Slicing Shot. Slicing Shot. <laughs> this is the Ares, uh, the Ares cast. And Ares... Uh, changes the cast into a slow moving whirlwind of blades. Uh, what are they? Yeah, blade rift is what they call these. Um, and these do 10 damage per hit and they take and they do damage uh, every 0.1 second. So already at rare at, at regular uh, rarity, a common rarity, it does more damage than it does more damage than our laser friend. And here's the thing, it also does area damage because it passes through enemies. And so if multiple enemies are standing next to each other, it will do damage to both. And it's a lot of, it's a it's a very decent amount of damage. The trouble with this is that it'll pass through enemies and just keep going. And so you have to, you're, you're only gonna get maybe the first second or two of damage before it's, it's gone and bouncing off the wall harmlessly somewhere else. Um, so yeah, it's not it's not the best one by itself. But here's the thing, and I think a lot of you know where I'm going. Uh, if you get the modifier for, or the the duo boon for this, hunting blades, you have got a a ability that can win the game for you all by itself. I've had I've had runs where I I've gotten hunting blades, I, or rather I, I I was doing another build and it wasn't working out, and I had you know I had no death defiances left in Elysium, but I had an air, I had slicing shot for some reason. I picked it up along the way, or, or or maybe I'd had some Artemis boons, and then I found slicing shot, and I was like, hey, 
if I got that, I could I could maybe survive. And I did, and I did. <laughs> I did get hunting blades, and I did survive. Um, it's very, very good. Um, the reason why it's so good is because it's it it tracks with enemies fairly well. They nerfed the tracking a little bit, or the patch notes said, but I, I still feel like it does a very, very good job of that. Obviously, really fast enemies will be able to outrun it. Hades is one, especially in the second phase, um, can outrun it pretty easily. However, you can also get some other modifiers for it. You can get black metal, which makes it um, bigger. So even though it's it's not tracking as as quickly, um, it, enemies have a harder time getting out of it because it's so big. Or engulfing vorte vortex, it lasts longer and it pulls enemies in. In some ways, engulfing vor vortex is kind of like a little mini hunting blades uh, because it it keeps enemies stuck to the to the uh, blade rift there. Um, I'm gonna put this, so okay, and then I guess if you, <laughs> between Infernal Soul and Stygian Soul, this is kind of, I, I find this to be a high risk, high reward build to go for, if you're like going hard for it, right? If you're pumping all of your palms into your, into your slicing shot, um, you're really hoping to get that, that duo boon, but if you do, you're in good shape. So in the same way, you know, Infernal Soul, you have three casts and then, you know, you can get more casts, but then you have to pick up the stones afterwards, which can be a bummer. Stygian Soul, though, can get ridiculous. So this is kind of, you're starting with one cast and, and if you don't get more cast stones, you might be in a bit of trouble. You most likely will be in a bit of trouble. Um, but if you do get some cast stones, say you get Artemis as legendary, whoo! This thing is going to, you're going to have blade rifts all over the screen, just doing your bidding <laughs> and, and things will die so fast. This is an S tier ability when you consider it, when you factor in the, the duo boon by itself, I'd, I'd probably give it a B or maybe even a C it's not, it's nothing to get excited about. It's pretty poor. Um, but because of, because of hunting blades, hunting blades being maybe the best duo boon in the game. Blizzard shot might have it, you know, might be in the running for it too. Maybe I don't know. Eh, I don't. I'm not gonna go there. There's plenty of great boons out there, um, for cast boons, I guess I should say. Blizzard shot and and uh, hunting blades are both pretty pretty solid. Um, but yeah, uh, then there's another one that I'll mention. But um, but anyway, it's great. And then if you get Ares legendary as well, then you're just the damage just goes for out of control. I mean, Ares legendary is. It's, it's legendary. It's really, really good. It's really solid. Um, so that's, that is slicing shot. Next we have Dionysus cast. This lobs a ball of damage that leaves behind festive fog. Okay. And festive fog has an effect that it stuns enemies occasionally when they're in the fog. Um, it's called trippy shot. Excuse me. So Trippy Shot does has has the the highest base damage starting out of any of the any of the other um, or at least burst wise it has the highest uh, base damage of any of the the casts um, and the the way that it's balanced is that it's lobbed <laughs> so lobbing attacks are pretty obnoxious um, rather than hitting it the closest enemy that you're casting towards. It lobs and lands in a in a predetermined spot, which if you're a mouse and keyboard player, you're in good shape. But if you're a controller player like me, you hate the lob mechanics so much you want to throw your controllers through the window. Uh, but but here's the thing with uh, with with uh, Trippy Shot that makes it it makes it uh, friends ah so good is that you can <laughs> you can get uh, so Haribo. Haribo lets you load casts into your um, into your bow, and then once the attack hits an enemy, boom, all the casts go off at once. With this, you have some of the best. I think it's the most damage early game you can ha you can get in almost any build um, if you can get this with the Haribo early. I think if this is the first ability you get, and you have Haribo, and you've got especially if you've got Infernal Soul, that that is the single largest. Uh, burst damage that you can find in the game at that point in the game. No question. I mean, you will fly through Tartarus. You will be, things will melt before you. <laughs> of course, you have to wait for the, the fog to dissipate 
and then you have to pick it up again and then fire it. Um, so in some ways it's good to have a Stygian soul too, because then you can uh, potentially get more cast stones and then, and then, you know, it, it gets even more ridiculous. And then another way that you get rid of the lob mechanic is with the duo boon ice wine. So Dionysus and Demeter have a duo boon together called ice wine, and that takes away the lob mechanic. Instead, you fire it like a normal cast and it blows up and it does everything else normally. And then it has an extra burst of, of, uh, icy, icy damage goodness. Um, <laughs> so that, that's, uh, that makes it a, a regular cast, which is nice. And then there's another duo boon that's also amazing called scintillating feast with uh, Zeus and that makes the fog turns into a lightning a thunder cloud <laughs> a lightning cloud no a thunder cloud which then strikes lightning all around it um, which is which is very very cool um, very very powerful lots and lots of damage with that one um, and makes it, it transforms this into you know, if, if you have this on the Haribo, it's amazing in Tartarus. It's pretty decent in Asphodel. The trouble with Asphodel is that enemies are so spread out, so it's hard to get them all lumped together, whereas in Tartarus, they're stuck together a little bit more. Um, but if you can get Scintillating Feast by the time you get to Elysium, or really at any point, at any point, it's just, it's so good. It, it's what takes that build from being a good burst build to being a good burst build that also has sustain that also potentially has protection because of blackout that also has, you know, just ridiculous damage from other, other things. I mean, Dionysus has, um, his high tolerance for defense. He has bad influence. Sorry, bad influence doesn't apply here, but, um, blackout. I mean, it's, it's insane. The, the damage mitigation plus, um, increase to damage that you can get from this ability. And then if you get, um, you get ice wine, and then if you get, scintillating feast it takes it over the edge this is clearly an s tier an s tier cast for sure no question in my mind all right last one last but not least we have artemis's cast artemis beloved artemis <laughs> everyone loves artemis um what's not to love she's a huntress she compliments you so true shot True shot, your cast seeks a foe with 10% chance to deal critical damage. And it, it increases the base at, at normal rarity. It increases it from 50 to 70 all the way up to heroic does 112. Um, and don't, don't forget it's unblockable by shield bearing foes. Okay. This is more significant than you realize this. Well, some of you realize how significant it is. It's freaking amazing. So you've got, when you get to Elysium, you've got these shield shield enemies that are the bane of, of many a player. I mean, it's so annoying uh, because especially if you've got a burst build, um, a lot of times they just block it entirely and you don't get any damage off at all. Uh, so this, this piercing... Um, piercing shields is great it has no area of effect to speak of um at all it does no area damage um it's okay so there's two ways to look at it it's, it's got a duo boon which is a lightning lightning rod so when your cast stone sits on the ground uh, it damages nearby foes with lightning every one and a half seconds and it does 100 lightning damage it's a lot of lightning damage that's that's a that's a good, that's a good bit of lightning damage. And especially if you have some of those, uh, Zeus lightning, uh, enhancing effects. This also applies for scintillating feast, by the way, but like double strike or high voltage that increases the area. Um, you're, you're doing some great damage with that. So in some ways, infernal soul is a great choice. Uh, but in other ways, Stygian soul is, is pretty amazing as well because you're firing off a lot. And it, it, once again, Stygian Soul is always a risk because you, if you want to have lots of casts, um, it, you know, it's good to have, it's good to have multiple casts of this. Like it's good to have, you know, with every, with everyone. And it's, you can, you can sometimes manage to get them without too much trouble. I mean, you're already going deep into Artemis. You want to get all of Artemis's uh, cast boons because Artemis, pro tip, she has the best cast boons in the game. Some of the only cast boons in the game, I should add too. But like, um, dual shot, best, 
best non duo boon or heroic uh, cast boon in the game. I think uh, you just you you want to be getting lots of Artemis boons anyway, so you have a fair chance of getting her legendary. So if you get if you get her dual shot, and then if you get um, all right, you need dual shot and you need exit wounds. Okay, so dual shot or exit wounds is required to find the legendary. So that's you know. That's that's a pretty high price to pay, I guess you could say, to go for... I mean, I, both of those are, are, are good, though. So this has very good burst damage potential. A lot of burst damage potential uh, with this one with this one cast. And what, granted, it is single target, but I, let me tell you, it doesn't really matter. You, If you have enough of the cast stones and they're doing enough damage, they, enemies are dying as they get struck by them, especially if it crits, and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, the duo boon is okay. It's it's fine. It kind of takes away from the cast build aspect of it, in my opinion. Like making the cast stone, you want it to sit there and not get picked up and whatnot. I've talked about this before. It kind of is a confusing duo boon, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's it's a little bit strange. But I'll say that this. So <clears throat> there are some speed runs out there too. I should take this into account. Um, speed runs out there a lot of times will use this. Uh, this as their primary attack um, because it does it, it has the potential to do so much damage like I, you can you can do hydra skips with it uh, I think you you might still need you just if you can get two curses on the, the thing is the the crits do so much extra damage it's it's um, it's three times the base damage right it's it's so much <laughs> it's not double it's three times the base damage um, so crits are very, very powerful in this game. Um, you can you can design it all all by itself, uh, or design a build around it all by itself. And then the more Artemis boons, it's just so synergistic with what Artemis is already giving you. Similar to why uh, Hunting Blades is so great because you're already getting those extra, those juicy Artemis um, boons as well. And you want that anyway, it's, it's solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this I'm going to put this at S tier. Maybe that's maybe that's a hot take. <laughs> maybe that's a hot take. It's it's somewhere between S and A tier. I'll I'll just say that. It's at the back of the of the S tier or it's at the front of A tier. Um take that for whatever it's worth. You know, flame me if you desire. Um But yeah, this is this is the layout I'd say for for the cast boons and Hades. Um and this this is about mm, this is what I would how would I arrange it the the strongest the strongest of the cast boons is uh, is slicing shot if you find hunting blades I, it should be noted that this is good all by itself you know so maybe that factors in there somewhere for you but if you find hunting blades nothing <clears throat> in my opinion nothing really holds a candle to what hunting blades can do uh, in the game blizzard shot is arguable that it's also it's also as good but i wouldn't say it's quite as consistent as hunt hunting blades um and then scintillating feast with the with the trippy shot is right behind it this is this is how i lay it out um oh generally speaking i'd take stygian soul if you're doing a cast build because if if you get the casts um if you get the the additional cast stones um, with Stygian Soul, you're going to have a lot more damage and a lot more sustained damage than you would with Infernal Soul. So that, that takes away some of the problems with some of these cast boons where the stone gets stuck and then you have no more casts. And then if that's your primary source of damage, you are you are done, sir, until those, until those uh, stones come out. And so you're forced into taking like Poseidon's Sword to get the stones back. But that can be awkward. Maybe you don't want to use Poseidon's Sword. I am. So anyway, this is what I'd say. You want Infernal Soul, or you want Stygian Soul for almost all of these, um, unless, unless it's just a, a, unless it's got a specific purpose. If you want it to be your end all, be all Stygian Soul, you're gonna want Stygian Soul. But if you want it just for clearing rooms, um, then then uh, Infernal Soul is is fine. It, cause you're not gonna do a bunch of damage against bosses with it, but you'll be able to do room clears with it and that'll be great. That'll be great. Friends, what do you think of the list? <laughs> what do you think of the tiers? Uh, how would you rank it? Would you would you do it differently? Um, I can see some argument. I can I can already hear the typing 
the typing, even as I even as I record this and no one's seen it yet, I can hear the typing saying that it should be like this. That Blizzard Shot makes Poseidon's cast better than Artemis cast. Um, but I think <laughs> I've seen I've seen some ridiculous I've seen some things, okay? <laughs> I've seen some ridiculous things with, with Artemis cast, and that that to me puts it over over the edge a little bit. Um and makes it makes it a special special thing uh, to be to be honored at this high tier, and the fact that it goes through shields, doggone it, that by itself is amazing too. Friends, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. If you liked it, like it. If you want to see more Hades content from me, please subscribe to the channel. I love you all. You're the best. You're the best. Um, tier maker <laughs> and Hades. Uh, forever. <laughs> if any of you watch the needle drop. Crap, I just stole that from him, but it's so it's so catchy. Anyway, friends, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Oh, we got a 3K. No! We got him! Oh, we got him. No, he got me! No way! <laughs> How did it happen?